Over here, founded his kingdom podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the recent rumors of the Disney movie road, which I'm going to be honest, I've been pretty much on and offline all week with moving. I know nothing about this. So, Victoria, you can explain this to me and everybody else. What exactly are these rumors going around? Oh, well, this rumor has been like on and off for the past few years, but basically, the rumor is saying that the great movie ride it may be closing and replaced with a new attraction. Just because um, Turner Classic Movie is basically, it, this is still unconfirmed, but yeah. that they're basically going to not renew their sponsorship when the contract ends in 2018. So they're saying they're going to shut down Great Movie Ride and just, you know, do what they did with Maelstrom and just create a whole new ride. Now, keep in mind, this rumor has been on and off for like two years now. This hmm. was even before TCM took over sponsorships. So it, it's... I mean, it can be your way. Yeah. Um, as far as me, as far as my thoughts of it, the last time I went on this attraction, last time we were there, I remember we got off of it. My wife turned around to me and said that was the biggest waste of time we've spent in this park. Um, she hated it. I'm sitting there going, "Yeah, we spent longer in the queue than on the ride." Um, it drastically needs a rehaul. You know, this thing about it. You know, this whole thing about being classic and the great movie ride. The trouble is, great movies have changed since the building got attracted got built and they've got generations coming in behind that no longer look to those you know 1930 1940s movies and they probably even know what they are you know wizard of oz is my wife's favorite movie great it's fantastic you know and having something like that in there is perfectly fine and representing movies is great but i think it needs a rehaul to be represent more movies alternatively knock the entire things down, built a great big Death Star and just make it turn it into Star Wars land. <laughs> um, but um, for me, I look at it and it's like, as far as giving it, it could do with a 21st century overhaul or it could be turned into... Because there's always that thing of Hollywood Studios and, I mean, we've been expecting a name change for a while. Um, yeah, that, they did announce that like two years ago and it, we haven't heard anything since. No. Um, so in some ways it's like, well, are you going to continue on with this history of it being a movie Hollywood thing or do you just dump that whole theme and just turn it into, you know, Magic Kingdom 2 kind of thing and just let it run wild with what different themes and stuff. For me, that attraction, there are some parts of it that are good and I enjoy, but it it's, a, it's like for me as well, that whole thing about the Chinese theatre... It doesn't really mean a lot anymore. I don't personally. I don't, you know, even having been to LA and see, you know, I've stood there in front of it, you know, and I'm out, you know, you're having all your photographs taken with Spider Man and Batman, and you're seeing all the stars and the handprints and stuff. But it's like they don't really do premieres there the same way. It doesn't mean the same thing that it used to. Well, my thing is, you know, I'm I'm a Disney MGM Studios kid, so. That that has a lot of personal significance to me, but you are right. I feel like oh, sorry, that was my dog biting. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I do feel like since TCM took over, it did give it a little bit of an update that it needed, but not enough. Like like you said, I do feel like it could add some, you know, more current movies. I do still feel like a lot of the old movies are important, but at the same time, it really doesn't have much relevance with you know, studios, because it's been having an identity crisis for years now. I don't even yeah. know if it makes any sense for it to be there anymore. It, but then again, it's the only icon for the park that's left, because they took away the, the mouse tower, and I don't I don't know what yeah. they're trying to yeah, I make mean, it, it anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'm also, I mean, it's like that whole, the same thing that's happened really over in California Adventure, of, you know, that whole feel of, like, the 1920s, 1930s, you know, if eventually the Tower of Terror becomes the collector, you know, it's that kind of thing as well. That whole theming just doesn't seem to make any sense. The fact that they've kind of got the theatre as this main entrance, but also, you know, putting the Star Wars show on it, which doesn't make any sense at all, doesn't make any f connection to the using that building. They don't even use the Chinese theatre as, you know, there always used to be those four different icons. You know, you had the tree, the spaceship Earth, the kingdom, and then they started using... You know, when the when they took down the water tower, they started using the Tower of Terror, which you know that's not really that doesn't really work for what that you know they're missing that iconic thing, and I don't think the theater is really what it should be. I mean, just 
honestly, I feel like they just use it just because that's really the first thing you see. It, it's similar to how Magic Kingdom is set up. When you get to the end of the street, yeah. there's Cinderella Castle. When you walk into Hollywood Studios, the last thing you see at the end is, you know, great movie ride. But, like I said, it's just been having such an identity crisis. I honestly don't know what direction they're trying to go in with the park. Like, it just seems like they're kind of trying to turn it into, sorry to say, but like a mini universal in a way. Yeah. Um, like, there's so much, like, you just got Pixar and, and Beauty and the Beast and Star Wars over here and construction over here. It's just, yeah. what, what are we doing? Yeah. It def- I mean, I don't have a problem with it just being a Disney park. You know, just being, yeah. uh, just yeah. you know. I mean, it's like the spot they did over in Paris where we had this, like, Dis- you know, Disney Studios. And it was like... Over in, you know, I still would think this back to, you know, going to Universal Studios and when you did the backlot tour there and you drove past and they, that's where they filmed Bruce Almighty and that's where they filmed, that's where they were filming, you know, and Desperate Housewives right there live as you're walking by. You know, oh, that was World of the World. Oh, that's the building from Back to the Future. You're sitting there going, you know, and there was a bit where the water comes down, which they use in, I think it was Agent Cody Banks 2 or something like that. And you're sitting there going, this is a, <laughs> this is a live film set. You know, they fil- you know they go past, oh, in that building, they're filming this at the minute. Oh, and over here, they're filming that TV show right now. And oh, here they were filming this last week. When you go around Universal Studios in, in, Orlando, in Hollywood, you are there, you feel you're on a movie set. And you are, you are there. And Disney trying to try to, do the same thing, but obviously, once they moved all the stuff away from that studio back in the the nineties, it they it, it's it's just fake. You know, you walk going go the same thing over in Paris. It's it like you've set this up to make it look like you're going around a movie set, but it's not, and it never it never really connected. Yeah, well, Universal Studios it makes more sense because they have animated, they have live, they they have the resources to do it. Whereas Disney, when they first came out. But, and let's be honest, I'm going to be honest, because I, I know the history behind studios. It, the only reason studios was built was because they were trying to compete with Universal Studios. Yeah. That's the only reason it was built. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. it just fell apart. Yeah. I mean, it just the whole theming of it just, just doesn't seem to work. And I, I personally do think just a rebranding of, you know, just, just call it a Disney generic park name number two or something like that and just... It would it would stand on its own and just let it um, and then you could expand it as it want. I mean, obviously when they sort out the Marvel situation and all of that kind of things, but it definitely looks great. But as far as the movie the movie ride goes, personally they could tear the thing down tomorrow and I wouldn't even. I'd be yes, please. And I'll be honest. Next <laughs> See, time, I'm, I'm the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I, I love old movies. That's like my favorite. That's the only ride well, I'll go to besides well, Power. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be honest. And this is the funny thing with what my wife has said. She said, if it was before Superman or Star Wars in 1977, you will not watch it. You know, that's pre- to me, that they are <laughs> they are old movies now. Anything pre that, I don't really want to watch. Um, yeah, it's for, for me, Star Wars and Super, you know, they're old movies now. The 70s is a long time ago. Oh, Lord, yeah. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> Neither was I, but I was just that kind of thing of, you know, it's like kids growing up now, and this is the thing as well of, you got to think that people, you know, this whole thing about like, oh, this reminds me of my youth and all the rest of it. Essentially now, we are now approaching this point where we are the parents, where we are reminiscing about our childhood and about our history, and we're now creating, you know, our age groups and, and a bit older are are taking our kids with what they love and what we love. And they have to change those things because, okay, you could say, well, the grandparents are going and they remember it. But, you know, even that is there, that's dropping off. The same thing that happened with Tower of Terror of that franchise does not connect with the same audience in the same way. And certain things will connect, but certain things won't. And I think the great movie ride, if they completely shut it down for two years and completely renovated it and turned it into you know, a montage of movies through time and even just did it as Disney and connect anything connected to Disney, that would be great. Um, and get around that whole licensing thing and just turn it into, this is us. I mean, there's probably the other thing as well of when that building gets knocked down, they probably won't have to pay any rights to use the, the likeness of the building and things like that. That's true. And the licensing has been a big issue with um, studios too because you know how they try to get a few Marvel characters in there, like mm. Doctor Strange. You notice he disappeared 
very quickly. Yeah, personally, yeah, you just turn quickly. it into a, a massive, great big Avengers Tower and Daily Bugle. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do Daily Bugle because that's an Island no. of Adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think I think the only chance we got something maybe is a Howard the Duck kind of attraction. Um, but yeah, on that note, guys, we'd love to know what you guys think of these kind of rumors that keep swirling around about the Great Movie Ride. What do you think of the attraction? Would you like to see it demolished? Would you like to keep it, you know, a bit of history there? We'd love to know your thoughts on it. You can check us out over at thiskingdom.com if you listen to the audio version. You can subscribe there. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And finally, you can check us out on all the different social medias. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at he calls me pineapple princess, and Twitter he calls me pp. Okay, on that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you guys soon. Later's. Bye.